Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Attack of the Industrial Robots. Today, a Seattle-based security research company called IOActive released some research on a vulnerability they found in an industrial robot, as well as some vulnerabilities they found in two entertainment robots as well. This comes from research from a gentleman named Lucas Appa, as well as IOActive CTO Cesar Cerudo. And they plan on presenting on these uh, vulnerabilities at a upcoming Singapore security conference called Hack in the Box. In any case, they found a number of vulnerabilities that allowed them to take over two entertainment robots. These are kind of the small humanoid robots that you can move around and play with, as well as an industrial robot. In any case, let's cover the fun ones first. And by the way, I only mean fun because the small entertainment robots have less power. Uh, they are less dangerous to humans because there's not a whole lot of force behind their movements. Nonetheless, uh, IOActive's researchers showed that they could actually hack and take over both an Alpha 2 and a Neo robot from two different manufacturers. And once they took over the robot, they could do many things. For instance, for the Alpha 2 robot, they show a video of where they take over the robot uh, with a script that they call Chucky. And they call it Chucky because it causes the robot to laugh maniacally as it actually does a stabbing action. And they show how if the robot were holding a screwdriver or a knife, the stabbing action did have enough force to penetrate a tomato. Granted, do know there's not a lot of force behind this particular robot, so I don't think a screwdriver would penetrate human skin that easily, but a knife would certainly be dangerous in this particular robot's hands. The other vulnerability, which I believe was against the now robot, was more concerning in that they showed how you could use a robot to implant a listening device. Many of these robots have sensors like video cameras to see things or at least to use image recognition, or they have microphones to listen to commands, for instance. In any case, these researchers showed that once they hack a robot, they can take over the camera or the microphone. This means your little robot toy could act as a digital bug. It could record video of what you're doing, could even allow the attacker to move the camera around because they can move the head of the robot. And of course, the microphone could be used to listen in on your conversations. Now, both of these particular uh, hacks are kind of a novelty hacks. I mean, they could have very dangerous implications. We don't want listening devices in our home, but nonetheless, these are kind of entertainment robots which really don't have a whole lot of power in their motion. However, the big vulnerability was found in a industrial robot from a company called Universal Robotics. And this one is a much bigger deal. Basically, these industrial robots are much more powerful. For instance, this particular industrial robot, which which you can see in IOACTIVE's video, is capable of applying 22 pounds of force, which is enough to break bones or even apparently your skull. So if this robot got out of control, it could cause serious damage. In any case, for this particular attack, the researcher found that first of all, these robots communicate over a serial protocol, a well-known protocol called Modbus. However, they often don't require authentication, meaning you can actually send Modbus commands to the particular robot without any sort of user authentication. On top of that, they also found a buffer overflow vulnerability in the software for this particular robot. And basically, anyone that had network access to the robot could send an unauthenticated Modbus command that could leverage this vulnerability and gain root on the robot. Now, do know industrial robots often have many safety mechanisms, mechanisms that might limit the amount of force they use, might limit how they move. For instance, you could put a box around where you want this arm to be. And that box, that digital box, would force the robot not to go outside a certain limit of bounds. Uh, so these type of safety uh, uh, settings can actually limit the bot from, for instance, swinging behind it and hitting a human, or swinging too hard, which could actually cause physical damage. However, once these researchers had root access to the particular bot, it was trivial for them to overwrite the safety configurations and basically cause the robot to swing out of control and cause some significant human damage if this happened in real life. In any case, this is very interesting research. For, for years or even a century now in science fiction, we've kind of worried about the Skynet scenario where robots would rebel against humanity. Now, this may not be AI, artificial intelligence taking 
taking over. But this does show that it is possible for uh, malicious hackers to actually target industrial robots and cause some pretty significant damage. In fact, this industrial robot that IOActive targeted is actually a relatively small one. There's much bigger and more forceful robots that are used for other heavy manufacturing as well. And theoretically, the same kind of vulnerabilities could apply. So what can we do about this? Well, I really wouldn't lose any sleep worrying about your little toy robots going crazy and berserk over the next few years. This is more kind of the type of research that shows the robotics industry that they need to start building better security controls in their network-connected Internet of Things devices. Nonetheless, I thought it was great research. Be sure to check out IOActive's blog on this particular vulnerability if you're interested. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,